So I would like today to talk uh, with you about uh, clustering time series for uh, electric consumption purposes. So the thing is, uh, this work has been done with uh, Emile Larsen and uh, Pierre Pinson in the EcoGrid framework. So EcoGrid is a project developed on Bonholm where we have a real-time electricity market implemented where households are equipped with uh, digital methods collecting information about their consumption and uh, price responsive controllers responding to the variation of the price. The problem is all these controllers are not responsive. That creates a bias in the data and when we want to evaluate the response from these responsive clusters, I mean um, responsive uh, groups, we would like them to be all responsive. So we would like to identify them and potentially remove them from the pool of data. Therefore, we just have created, I mean, th been thinking around and uh, we thought, okay, if we send large incentives, large variation of the price, we would have a large chance of uh, changing the consumption. Otherwise, if it do not happen, that means the controller is not responsive. We have then developed an experiment with different test sets and, uh, where we have a large variation of the price. Then after, we've been doing clustering on this test set to evaluate how this, uh, yeah, to, to, to get uh, this non-responsive cluster. Uh, then I just want to give you a little insight on uh, what's clustering. Clustering is basically the action of grouping objects, statistical objects, their single time series, according to their likelihood. Each cluster at the end is more homogeneous, is more homogeneous than the original data set. Here is three different time series, and I would like in the first time to group them into two groups. So the most likely to be grouped together will be these two time series, which have some... Uh, Var common variations. Then if I want to group them in a single group, of course, we do that. That's, uh, keep that in mind for the next step. Uh, here we've been working with uh, hierarchical ascending clustering using the Mahalanobis distance. The Mahalanobis distance is really interesting because it uh, couples the information you get from a standard Euclidean distance, but it also adds the covariance aspect of two variables. And therefore, time series, it's really interesting. To make all the time series comparable, we align them to zero. So, because that's what interests us. It's not their absolute values, it's their variations. Uh, then the general algorithm is the following. In first, we create a space based on uh, all the variables uh, and the data. We place the different objects, the different time series. We set a metric. We measure the distance between the different objects, create a distance matrix, find the two closer objects, group them, calculate their position and recalculate the matrix distance. Then at the end, we do that, we repeat that until we have only one cluster. From that, we can find the optimal partition. There, for example, it could be three, like that. So that's the results we got out of uh, the data on uh, the EcoGrid project. On the left, you have the three I showed you at uh, the beginning. And uh, there we decided that uh, for that purpose, the optimal partition was four different clusters. So the first cluster is this one, consisting of 44 households. And uh, there, the, the green line you see is the variation of the price. So what we expect to see is the following. We have, before the price goes up, we have an increase of uh, the consumption. When the price goes up, it decreased, the consumption decreased, and then we have a rebound effect. This one has a little timing problem, but still we assume it's, uh, it's responsive. The second one is more set with the time, and uh, we see exactly the, the same pattern. The last one here, 
as an even <coughs> more extreme uh, variation. And the last one, basically, is the one uh, we would like to remove as no response. Uh, there, in that specific case, it's due because, I mean, it's uh, because there are non, no inhabitants in the house. We can't see daily variations. So, our conclusion is uh, we got a really successful result in this framework. Uh, my colleague Emil has been uh, started using that methodology uh, for modeling purposes and uh, he got also interesting results. Uh, we would like to go in uh, a bit deeper and look for other metric, other way to use the clustering uh, on time series. And uh, if you want more information on this work, there is uh, the reference. Thank you for your attention.